Grade 8 Learning Materials for Quarter 2 East Asian Arts China, Japan and Korea This quarter will introduce you to the arts and crafts of China, Japan, and Korea. Such as painting, calligraphy, pottery, paper kites, knot tying, wood block printing, yukiyo, and paper cutting. You will learn that these countries focus on nature as their subjects or themes in their arts and crafts. Before we start our lesson let's travel to East Asia. Activity 1. As you move around the countries written below. Group each picture according to the country they belong to by writing its number under the correct heading. You are really smart. I am sure you will enjoy your tour of China, Japan and Korea as you move on to another pre-assessment activity. Good luck! Activity 2, Match and Fill Written below are descriptions of the arts of China, Korea, and Japan. A word pool is given on the next page which contains the arts and crafts that match the descriptions. Write your answers in the boxes before each number. Get ready to visit and learn about the characteristics of the arts of China, Japan, and Korea. Lesson 1, Painting in China, Japan, and Korea. In East Asia, the objects or items that are usually put into paintings are called subjects, themes or motifs. Maybe about animals, people, landscapes, and anything about the environment. To start with, did you know that painting started from prehistoric man? He used red ochre and black pigment. Early paintings often showed hunting scenes of man chasing various animals, such as, horses, rhinoceros, lions, buffaloes, mammoths. These prehistoric paintings were drawn on the walls of caves, blocks of stone, etc. And found all over the world, including China. The history of Eastern painting is as old as the civilization of China. It is historically comparable to Western painting. Eastern countries continued to influence each other's production of arts over the centuries. What other important information do you need to remember in East Asian arts? In China, the painting subjects or themes are flowers and birds, landscapes, palaces and temples, human figures, animals, bamboos, and stones. Japan painting subjects or themes are 1. Scenes from everyday life 2. Narrative scenes crowded with figures and details North and South painting subjects or themes are Subjects are divided into five categories 1. Landscape paintings 2. Minhui, the traditional folk painting 3. Four gracious plants Plum blossoms, orchids, or wild orchids, chrysanthemums. 4. Bamboo. 5. Portraits. Important aspects in East Asian painting. Landscape painting was regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. They also consider the three concepts of their arts, nature, heaven, and humankind, yin-yang. Chinese society, basically agricultural has always laid great stress on understanding the pattern of nature and living in accordance with it. Oriental artists often created landscapes rather than paintings with the human figure as subjects. Silk was often used as the medium to paint upon, but it was quite expensive. When the Han court eunuch, C.A. Ilun, invented the paper in the first century AD it provided not only a cheap and widespread medium for writing but painting became more economical. The ideologies of Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism played important roles in East Asian art. Chinese art expresses the human understanding of the relationship between nature and human. This is evident in the form of painting of landscapes, bamboo, birds, and flowers, etc. This might be called the metaphysical, Taoist aspect of Chinese painting. 
To make make your painting interesting and realistic apply these six principles of Chinese painting established by Xiaohe. A writer, art historian, and critic in 5th century China. 1. Observe rhythm and movements. 2. Leave spaces for the eyes to rest. 3. Use brush in calligraphy. 4. Use colors correctly. 5. Live up to tradition by copying the master's artwork. 6. Copy the correct proportion of the objects and nature. The history of Korean painting dates to 108 CE, when it first appears as an independent form. It is said that until the Joseon dynasty the primary influence of Korean paintings were Chinese paintings. However, Korean paintings have subjects such as landscapes, facial features, Buddhist topics, and an emphasis on celestial observation in keeping with the rapid development of Korean astronomy. Mountain and water are important features in Korean landscape painting because it is a site for building temples and buildings. Landscape painting represents both a portrayal of nature itself and a codified illustration of the human view of nature and the world. Painting is closely related to calligraphy among the Chinese people. What is calligraphy? Your beautiful handwriting is considered calligraphy. So, keep on writing not only beautifully but also artistically. To the Chinese, calligraphy is the art of beautiful handwriting. Traditional painting involves essentially the same techniques as calligraphy. And is done with a brush dipped in black or colored ink, oils are not used. In calligraphy, the popular materials which paintings are made of are paper and silk. Poets write their calligraphy on their paintings. Your paintings can be mounted on scrolls, such as hanging scrolls or hand scrolls, album sheets, walls, lacquerware, folding screens, and other media. Enrich your knowledge about Chinese calligraphy. Did you know that the earliest known Chinese logographs, ancient writing symbols, are engraved on the shoulder bones of large animals and on tortoise shells? For this reason, the script found on these objects is commonly called Jiaguan, or shell and bone script. It was said that Kangzhe, the legendary inventor of Chinese writing, got his ideas from observing animals' footprints and birds' claw marks on the sand as well as other natural phenomena. He then started to work out simple images from what he conceived as representing different objects such as sun, moon, mountain, water, rain, wood, dog, cattle, and worse. East Asian temples and houses have sweeping roofs because they believe that it will protect them from the elements of water, wind, and fire. Buddhists believed that it helped ward off evil spirits which were deemed to be straight lines. The figures at the tips are called roof guards. There are three main types of roofs in traditional Chinese architecture that influenced other Asian architecture. One dot straight inclined, more economical for common Chinese architecture. Two dot multi-inclined, roofs with two or more sections of incline. These roofs are used for residences of wealthy Chinese. Three dot sweeping has curves that rise at the corners of the roof. These are usually reserved for temples and palaces although it may also be found in the homes of the wealthy. Originally, the ridges of the roofs are usually highly decorated with ceramic figurines. Did you know that there is a unique artistic expression related to painting in Japan known as woodblock printing? What is woodblock printing? Woodblock printing is a technique for printing text, images, or patterns used widely throughout East Asia. It originated in China as a method of printing on textiles but eventually became a method for printing on paper. Japanese yukiyoi The best known and most popular style of Japanese art is yukiyoi, which is Japanese for pictures of the floating world and it is related to the style of woodblock printmaking that shows scenes of harmony and carefree everyday living. Yukiyui art was produced in a diversity of different media, including painting and became an art domain of the upper classes and royalty but later was also produced by the common people. Painting is indeed one of the highest forms of arts in East Asia. Do people from East Asia use other materials as canvas for painting? Let's find out as we move on to festivals and theater performances in East Asia.
Can you describe the costumes used in East Asian festivals and theater performances? East Asian countries have theatrical forms like Peking Opera of China and Kabuki of Japan. The performers from China and Japan usually paint faces depending on the character or personification they are portraying. So aside from painting on silk, paper, and printing on woods, Chinese and Japanese also painted their face and Koreans paint masks for theatrical and festival performances. Peking opera face painting or Jingju Lianpu is done with different colors in accordance with the performing character's personality and historical assessment. The hero type characters are normally painted in relatively simple colors. Whereas enemies, bandits, rebels, and others have more complicated designs on their faces. It is a traditional special way of makeup in Chinese operas in pursuit of the expected effect of performance. Originally, Lianpu is called the false mask. Meaning of colors for face painting. Guanju, red indicates devotion, courage, bravery, uprightness, and loyalty. Huangpeng, yellow signifies fierceness, ambition, and cool headedness. Zhu Wen, a green face tells the audience that the character is not only impulsive and violent, he also lacks self restraint. Zhang Fei, black symbolizes roughness and fierceness. The black face indicates either a rough and bold character or an impartial and selfless personality. Lianpo, purple stands for uprightness and cool headedness. While a reddish purple face indicates a just and noble character. CAO CAO, white suggests treachery, suspiciousness, and craftiness. It is common to see the white face of the powerful villain on stage. Zhang Gan, the clown or Zhou in Chinese opera has special makeup patterns called Xia Hualian, the petty painted face. Sometimes a small patch of chalk is painted around the nose to show a mean and secretive character. At times, the Xia Hualian is also painted on a young page or jesting to enliven up the performance. Kabuki Makeup of Japan Kabuki makeup or Kesho is already in itself an interpretation of the actor's own role through the medium of the facial features. On stage, this interpretation becomes a temporalization of makeup in collaboration with the audience. Kabuki makeup is also another way of face painting which has two types. One standard makeup, applied to most actors. Two kumidori makeup, applied to villains and heroes. It is composed of very dramatic lines and shapes using colors that represent certain qualities. Dark red equals passion or anger. Dark blue equals depression or sadness. Pink equals youth. Light green equals calm. Black equals fear. Purple equals nobility. Kumidori the painted faces of Japanese kabuki theater. Korean mask. Korean masks, called tall or tl, originated with religious meaning just like the masks of other countries which also have religious or artistic origins. Korea has a rich history of masks. They use it in funeral services to help banish evil spirits. And theater plays dating back to the prehistoric age. Masks were also used for shamanistic rites and were kept within temples where they were honored with offerings. By the 12th century, the masks became part of elaborate dances and dramas. The roles of colors in Korean masks. 1. Black, red, and white bright and vibrant colors that help establish the age and race of the figure. 2. Half red and half white mask, symbolize the idea that the wearer has two fathers, Mr. Red and Mr. White. 3. Dark faced mask, indicates that the character was born of an adulterous mother. Some masks have moving parts like winking or shifting eyes and moving mouths. To further add to the lifelike features of the masks, black fabric is draped from the top of the mask over the wearer's head to simulate hair. Korean Traditional Painted Mask Paper Arts and Knot Tying of China, Japan, and Korea Paper was first invented by C.A.I. Lun of the Eastern Han Dynasty in China. It is indeed one of the greatest contributions of ancient China in the development of arts. Chinese folk art is created with materials that are naturally found within the locality. This shows that the Chinese are nature lovers. The earliest document showing paper folding is a picture of a small paper boat in an edition of Tractatus de Sfeirum Mundi from 1490 by Johannes de Sacrobosco. 
In China, traditional funerals include burning yuan bao which is a folded paper that look like gold nuggets or ingots called sai si. This is also used for other ceremonial practices. This kind of burning is commonly done at their ancestors' graves during the ghost festival. A sai si is a type of silver or gold ingot currency used in China until the 20th century. The name is derived from the Cantonese words meaning fine silk. The gold paper folded to look like a sai si. Today, imitation gold sai si's are used as a symbol of prosperity by Chinese and are frequently displayed during the Chinese New Year. Origami The term origami came from ori meaning folding, and kami meaning paper. It is the traditional Japanese art of paper folding, which started in the 17th century AD, and was popularized internationally in the mid-1900s. It eventually evolved into a modern art form. The goal of this art is to transform a flat sheet of paper into a finished sculpture. Through folding and sculpting techniques without cutting as much as possible. Origami butterflies were used during the celebration of Shinto weddings to represent the bride and groom. So paper folding had already become a significant aspect of Japanese ceremonies. By the Heian period, 794-1185, in Japanese history. Flowers, animals, birds, fish, geometric shapes, and dolls are the common models used in Japanese origami. Jianzi is the first type of paper cutting design, since paper was invented by the Chinese. The cutouts are also used to decorate doors and windows. They are sometimes referred to chenghu, meaning window flower. Kite making A kite is an assembled or joined aircraft that was traditionally made of silk or paper with a bullion and a resilient bamboo. Today, kites can be made out of plastic. Kites are flown for recreational purposes display of one's artistic skills. Chinese kites originated in Weifang, Sandong. China was the capital city of kites during the Song Dynasty, 960-1279, and by the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644. Since 1984 the city is hosting the largest international kite festival on earth. According to Joseph Needham, one of the important contributions of Chinese in science and technology to Europe is the kite. Chinese kites may be differentiated into four main categories. 1. Centipede 2. Hard-winged kites 3. Soft-winged kites 4. Flat kites Knot tying In Korea, decorative knotwork is known as maedup or called duri or double connection knot often called Korean knot work or Korean knots. Zongwo is the Chinese decorative handicraft art that began as a form of Chinese folk art in the Tang and Song Dynasty, 960-1279 AD, in China. In Japan, knot tying is called Hanamuz Yubi. It emphasizes on braids and focuses on individual knots. Thank you for watching.